Hi everybody, Martin at Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm tying another bonefish fly for you. This is uh, Moana's Chili Pepper. It's uh, a fly that was designed by one of the sort of famous guides from Christmas Island. As always, there will be materials listed in the description, along with a link to some social media uh, and Patreon for anybody who would like to get on board with it supporting the channel to be eligible for future giveaways. So, we've got my hook and device, this is a size 8 Gamma Katsu SL11 3H, but you can tie these up to twos. Maybe you could tie them smaller as well if you really wish. I've just got to start some lime green thread. Run down the shank and then back to where I'm tying my weight in. Using bead chain, uh, but it's up to you. Uh, I also I mean that that's the bead chain. I've got my dumbbells here. It's always worth having a few different weights in your box. Um, whether it's for depth of water or current. I mean sometimes the tidal flows can be quite strong and you need a wee bit more wee bit more weight just to keep your fly on the bottom. So I'm just getting these eyes locked in. You know, I've tied them it's at a crazy Charlie position, further forward than, a, than you would a clouser. Um roughly the eye width. back from the hook eye. Get them locked in place. Tail is some gold crystal flash. I've got about, I don't know, eight or ten strands here. Just going to measure it so it's the length of the shank. I'll throw it in. Two or three tons is enough to hold it. I'll just trim away my waist. I'll just tidy everything up, taking the thread all the way at the back. Come up to the eye again. And at this stage, I'm going to just come in with some super glue. Get that around those bead chain. And then I'll take another few wraps and I find this really helps to anchor it because you've you've tied them in but then you've run the thread up and down and it's got a really good grip and that really locks your eyes in nice and solid. Now for the body I'm using a gold braid. I mean you could just use the same crystal flash if you liked. the pattern cause for the gold braid. So I'll just catch that in and run my thread and touch and turns back to the tail. So the body's just at the start of the bend. And I'll take it back up to the front. Create a nice smooth underbody. Just if you might need to smooth that out there behind the bead chain. Bring your thread to the front. Now, again, to protect this a wee bit more, I'll just put a wee lick of super glue on there. And I'll just wrap this forward. When I come to the eyes, I'll just figure right through them. Tie it off. And I like to tie it off on the top of the hook, which will be the bottom of the fly. That gives me a nice clear space for the tying in the wing. Trim that away. And I'll invert it. The wing is, um, well you can use anything really. Um, you could use calf tail, fish hair, ultra hair, craft fur. 
but I'm using uh, some Finn Raccoon. It's just nice for nice movement in it. Very mobile fibre, nice sort of translucence as well. So I've got a wee bunch. I'm just going to take away all of the any of the kind of guard hairs and just leaving the sort of soft mobile under for. I want this to be just slightly shorter than the length of the tail. So I'll just measure that in. Pinch and loop. A few tight wraps. I mean, three's enough to hold it, but I'll put about four in there. Five. Trim away your waist. Just get a wee look, make sure it's sitting nice, that's fine. Now again, it will not go anywhere, but just for a wee bit added security, I'll touch the ends of the raccoon hair with the super glue, and then tie it back into them. And all you need to do is just build up a wee green nose. I like it to be reasonably prominent, something like that. Come in. Foot finish. You can either foot finish by hand or use the tool, it doesn't matter. But I like two on my salt water flies. I mean these are going to be fishing about coral. So they could get you know the head is the nose is kind of vulnerable with the thread. So I'm on my waist. Just make sure that wing's sitting nice. And then I'll just super glue it once. To seal the thread and everything. Let it sit for a second or two and I just wipe it. It takes away any excess and it sets it off. And to protect the super glue, like the salt water will make the super glue turn white if you don't do this. Um I like to just come in with some head cement and coat all the thread wraps quite generously and I'll even let it come back in onto that braid there between the, the bead chain if you do that there you have a nice hard durable head on a really tough little fly Good bonefish pattern, well worth a place in your box. So I hope that was useful, I hope you enjoyed it. If it was, please remember to subscribe to my channel, like the video below, and uh, tight lines guys, bye!